Hi guys! This is a video of a presentation that I gave while we were at the Moab SOITC rally. It's a rally for people who own mobile suites. So this presentation is about how you can put your videos and photos together to create one video that you can share with family and friends. And all as you will see on the screen is the actual presentation that I gave. You won't see me in it. Uh, it's probably about 45 minutes long. Um, it's not like my normal videos where Dave's doing something or taking a tour of a campground. Uh, so at this point, if you have interest in how I put my videos together and how you might be able to do the same thing, feel free to watch this presentation. Otherwise, you may want to just clock out right now. We're Dave and Karen from Wax on Wheels, and we sold our sticks and bricks to RV full-time now that we are retired. We travel with our heavy-duty truck Leroy, our two K&M motorcycles, our DRV Dixie, and our smart car Zippy. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell to be notified when we post a new video. Okay, we all set? Everybody ready to be? I'm not a technical person. The stuff I'm going to show you is stuff I figured out on my own. Um, Software I'm using, I got to work, so I didn't pay for it. You know, stuff like that. So I don't work anymore, so I just kept it. <laughs> but, so anyways, um, that's what I'm hoping to cover today. Yes, I am a little nervous. We're all friends. So what we're going to cover, we're going to talk about the different types of images that you may take when you're out there. How many of you take your phone or camera and take pictures out there in the arts and all that? How many of you have Facebook? Okay. Anybody have websites? Have what? Websites, okay. Anybody use um, um, YouTube? Anybody put videos on YouTube? Okay. We're going to be talking about that. Okay, so we're going to talk about types of images, uh, ways to share your images, uh, Facebook, YouTube, other websites, and all stuff's free, and uh, why we make videos. Video editing software overview. It's going to be a real quickie on what it looks like to make a video. It takes a long time to put a good video together, but it doesn't have to. And we're going to actually do one today, I'm hoping, from the uh, SYTC Elkhart, Indiana. One we have, we're going to put together a little video and pr produce it and watch it, hopefully, within an hour. Um, so we're going to make a video and then we're going to upload the video so we can share it. So I'll talk about types of images. Some of you probably know how to do your selfies or maybe they have a stick or any of your your phone, um, you take pictures of the wonderful arches and birds bed. Some of you might use video cameras. Some of you may have sophisticated Canon or whatever Nikon cameras as well. But when you go to share those photos, if you have them developed, you've got pictures and you're showing them people. Um, and or you take your, your camera, you know, you pick it up and you're showing people and you do that little swiping thing and all the lovely pictures, yeah. right? But the problem with that is you've got to be in person, right? But you can also send stuff email. So you can either uh, add your pictures to the bottom of your email and they click on and they can look at your pictures. Or if you're really good at it, you can actually input them into your email and they can see your pictures. But you've got to put all the email addresses in there. You've got to download those pictures. And you've got to think of all those different people you want to see your, your stuff. You can even do messaging for instant pictures. You know, hey, what's going on? I'm out here with my dog or whatever. And you can send pictures. They have an arches looky here. But once again, it's probably just to a few people. Did you know there's over 65 social networks out there now? What do you, what do you think the most common ones are? Instagram, Instagram, Instagram Facebook, 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 YouTube, Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn. 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 Yeah, that's, there's a ton of them. So this is our Facebook that we have. And we like to show pictures of places we've been. And that way all of our friends and family and anybody who wants to look at them can go look at them. Only thing with that, if I want to go back to it and look at it, then i got to go try to dig out where, where I am. So that makes it kind of difficult for people to say, well, when did you go there? Let me see if I can find it. Well, it's a little more difficult. We also have a website, um, watsonwheels.info or bucket listing club unless we do both And then on our website, you can either blog or blog. Blog is when you do a lot of typing, you talk about what you did, you put pictures in the blogging, you have you add videos and stuff. And on our website, which is free, it's wix.com, W-I-X.com, 
We've put the locations of where we've been. We have a link right here which tells people, go see our videos here. There's a lot easier if we just put them on YouTube than to try to reload them up in here. We also put our schedule where we're going to be. Oh, you are cool. On here. And I advertise my little Saxon club, homemade soup or something. Like that. And so people from the where are they going to be? They can come in here, they can take a look. <coughs> and then, like I said, if you just click on that link, it'll take you to our YouTube. And it's free. There's, there's no way. And then, of course, YouTube. I love YouTube. I go to YouTube. How do you clean sure. a dishwasher? How do you change a tire? How do you clean an air filter off a smart car? Hey, whatever it might be. So on our YouTube channel, we put all kinds of things out there from maintenance to about our spiders, about being a uh, individual truck person. Um, our Iowa tote has, has over has had over 21,000 hits on it already, just about on that little tote we have in the back of our, our truck. So there's uh, we just, just hit 1,000 subscribers yesterday. <laughs> so we'll work at it. Um, but this is, to me, the best way to share videos with other people because anybody can get to it. But the good news is if you've got videos of friends, friends and family, that maybe you were drunk, but you think it's funny as heck, but you don't want everybody to see it, you can make private ones and just send the link to particular people to go look at it. So you can keep things private on YouTube as well. In fact, uh, Sleep Travels back here, <laughs> they have a, a YouTube site as well. And you can just go into a search, type in Sweet Travels, and you can see all the videos, places they've been, things they, they do, a lot, of, a lot of stuff on the HDT. And we always like to have people subscribe. It's free. It doesn't cost anything to subscribe, but what it does is anytime you want to go in there and see what those guys have been up to, you go right to where your subscription, there they are, click on it, there's their website, you can see what they got going on. So why make videos? Well, when I was a kid, you might remember the 8 millimeters. Yeah. We had that when I was a kid. I thought I was, well, you know, my dad had that. Then it Polaroid came out, remember how great that was? Lovely high definition pictures. Then the one hour phone came out, I thought that was, Cast me out, and that can be about pictures in one hour of the But you know what? They all end up in a box someplace. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And there they are sitting to this day. They're yeah. still there, many of them, a long time ago. But I want my memories to make sense. They're just sitting in a box or inside of the little envelope they put in the resume. So you put them in albums, or you put them in scrapbooks, or if you get into Shutterfly. Dike.com is a very cool program where you can download your pictures and they actually make books. And they yeah. just went back. They got two books on Shutterfly for my deceased <coughs> Portuguese water dogs that I miss. But if you like to see what you can get from Shutterfly, the reason where you want to have an album, you can take a look at the big birds and back up books. So I want my members to make sense, but I can't share them unless you're next to me. That's the big problem. Here's my album and stuff, but hey, you're not here. <laughs> So why make videos? You take pictures of Mother Nature, you have fancy cameras, you like to do selfies, you have a video camera that you use, and I even have a GoPro, so I videotape going through the arches and through all that kind of stuff. And we even have a drone, and you'll probably see it flying before we leave from here. So you might get that call on camera. It'll be hate. <laughs> Uh, so, how do you make videos? What create memories that are going to last? And then you want to document your retirement journey. That's what we're doing. We started doing it just for us, and I kept it private initially. And I thought, you know what? I don't mind sharing this with other people. They can see where we're at. So. And you can share it with others, family, friends, strangers, whatever. <coughs> and the best part is it's still going to be there after I'm gone. So grandkids can still see it. Anybody, you know, your friends can still be able to see it. But you want the memories to make sense. That's not just you know, a bunch of pictures that you have on hand, that's on my cell phone, that's in my camera, that's on these little memory cards. I want to somehow make all that make sense. So if you want them to be available to yourself and others in the future, I recommend that you learn how to use software editing program. I have used a program called Cyberlink Power Director. I know you can get it for less than $70. That's what I got for free from work. Um, and I know that uh, Jimmy, like you mentioned, is all that's a free download. So you can just go online and look for free um, video editing software and you can download it. So how are we going to do this then? We're going to post on YouTube or Facebook or Instagram. Um, you can send videos via messaging or email if you just want particular people. 
Post on all the so social medias. I find YouTube to house my videos easiest, and then you can also make them private. Like I mentioned, not everybody has to see all your business. And they're all free. It's free, it's for me. So how did I figure out how to do this stuff? I got the website, I got the YouTube, I got the Facebook. I went to YouTube and I looked it up. How to create a Facebook. How to create a YouTube channel. How to create a website. I just went here and that's how I figured it out. So, um, I mean, we can use YouTube to find out what, you know, how to go to the bathroom, whatever it takes. <laughs> Don't want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to be showing the program. We have a power director today when they make our video. And it doesn't come with a manual. So what do you do? You go to YouTube and you go, well, how do I use this program? How do you edit? How do you apply transitions? How do you put music in there? How do you split and trim it and all that kind of stuff? The website's great. That's how I learned. So let's get started. This is what you're going to have to do. So you got your little memory sticks and stuff, and you got your videos and your pictures on different things. So you're going to have to create a folder on your computer and give it a name. I've got one that's called SOITC Rally in Elkhart, Indiana, as you can see. There's nothing in that little folder just yet. Then you've got to transfer your photos and videos. And I'm not going to get in great detail on anything today, but if I can help somebody after this, let me know on the site. Uh, what is it? <laughs> like, what's your site number? Ours. <laughs> no, we're number nine. <laughs> we're in the model. We're in the model of your kitchen. <laughs> we got a full house. <laughs> You're on the way to Salt Lake. <laughs> so you transfer your photos, your videos down to your your computer uh, folder that you create. Put your little memory stick in there, and then next thing you know, you all these little things are showing up in your folder. So once you've got those in there, you can actually go in there and rename them. So if it says like it's 4290i5, and you're going, well, that's my uh, dinner picture, you can type in dinner on the top of it. So you can rename them to make it easier to remember, what was that picture of? So this is the stuff I have in my folder that I want to turn into a video. I've got a couple different photos, uh, several photos, a couple of different video clips. And I want to get them together into one video that I can share with the SYTC and my friends and family and that sort of thing. So, first thing we're going to do, this is what the software is going to look like on the right hand side there. And all the software is basically the same. There's a library section where you, you uh, import your videos and your photos. And then there's a storyboard section on there where you start dragging the stuff down. There's some of the order they go on them. And then there's a preview uh, on the right hand side there which lets you know how, how it's going to work. <coughs> So you have to import your, your images and your videos into that library first. We're going to be doing all this. Then you have organize your images and storyboard the way you want them. You can add text, transitions, music, and I'm telling you what, this is just the tiniest top of the iceberg of what you could do with these programs. It's incredible. You can view your progress in video preview. Save your project as you go. You know how you're typing your letter and word, and then you get somewhere and you go, God, what happened? I just crashed. I didn't save it, right? So you always want to save your, your uh, work with as you go along. Save and save often. Save yeah. and save often. Right? Yeah. That's really great. And then we're going to produce it. So first you got you got to set up your project, and then you're going to produce it once you think you got it the way you want. And then you upload it to social network, either private or public. So I showed you a minute ago all those little videos and pictures I had. And we're going to go ahead and put this in CyberLink PowerPoint software. Like so this time I have a seat because I'm going to get to work. Put some glasses on so we can see what I'm doing. And this is your software, is that right, Karen? This is one that I that I okay. got for free from work yet. Okay. But um, this is actually they consider this the number one user friendly software. Okay. But you do have to pay. I think you can give for like 30 bucks off of eBay. Okay. So this could be a quick overview, otherwise we'd be here for a long time. <laughs> and I, I know we want to talk about roughs in a little while. <laughs> so I'm just gonna show you some of the features. <laughs> so, here's my screen, I'm in the software, and there's a little button here for importing media. I click on that, so I, do, oh, I want to import some media. And then i got to go find my folder, some hidden away here somewhere. And there it is, SYTC Rally, Elkhart, Indiana. There they are, there's my pictures. There's my movies. I can tell the movies because they got these little checker boxes. Can you see my? Yeah. yeah. 
All right, so I'm going to take all this up. And I happen to have a clip of music that I like, so I'm going to take that with me. And I'm going to click on that. I'm going to hit the shift key. I'm just going to highlight them all. And down here, I hit over. Okay. Now, wait. Oh, there they are. So now I can still see little, little thumbnails of my pictures and my videos. So now I can determine what order I want them in. Well, I'm kind of doing a, here's what we did at rally, here's what the park is like. So I want to start out with introducing the park that we're staying at. I know somewhere in here I've got a park picture. Oh, right there. All I got to do is see the blue square around it? It knows that I'm on it. I just drag it down here. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't need any windows update right now. <laughs> Um, if I'm like, okay, what is that picture? I can't tell what that picture is. I can go in here and click on it and look up here in my preview screen and go, oh, that's a site map. That's what that was. Yeah. What was this thing? Oh, that's a volleyball. Okay, so if you can't quite tell because it's really little, you just click on it to see a preview screen. So, let's see. Where was it? Campground? There's my campground sign. And then let's say, um, okay, uh, since I'm going to be talking about the campground site, let's, um, Show them what our site looks like. So then I can show them what my site looks like. Okay, I like that picture. And let's do a video of coming into the park and driving around the park. So I know I got some videos in here, and there's some links up here. See these blue things up here? This one says if you gray it out, you won't see the videos. If I gray this out, I won't see the pictures. If I gray that one out, I won't see the music. Now I got nothing. Well, I want some videos. And I don't have to go through all my pictures and all my videos trying to find it. I only got three videos. So I know the one I want is going to be this one. And I just, you see how this is longer? There's yeah. your sound, yeah. and there's your picture. So, okay, good. And then let's say, well, let's just see how we're doing so far. I want to go back to the beginning, slide that back over, and let's see what it looks like. Yeah, it's all automatic. Okay, 
Okay, well, let's, um, let's add a video of the people that we're hanging out with while we were there, some of the people we met. So I had another video. <laughs> driving in my truck to a bunch of people. It's like, it feels like you need some kind of a transition or something in there. You don't just go from that to that. So, no. uh -oh. <laughs> so what's kind of cool over here, they have all these nifty things that you can do to your video. And I think there's a transition room. So I can go in the trans transition room and you can click on any of these and they're going to show you what that transition looks like. And so I thought I'd just say something down here. One of my favorites is the drain. I put the drain right on top of the front of my video where I want the transition to be. So it goes like this now. Uh, I haven't really found any old shady trees that were too low. They also have propane. So you see it kind of says um, something different's coming up now. And I can add text to this. Okay, what is this? So I can say, all right, there's a little button over here on the side. We can put a subtitle in. So I want to add one. Double click on it. And I can put S-O-R-T-C Friends. Oops. And it'll put that on there for me. I can change colors. I can change font. I can change size. I can change it last for a long time, short time. You can do all kinds of neat stuff with it. So now, That's why it's helpful with the three angle ahead of time. 
We had entertainment there. Um, who here was at the Elkhart Festival? Okay, I got it. So I remember this. He was the best. And uh, so I got entertainment, and now I'm looking at this, but when my friends and family sees this, they're going to go, oh, who's this dude? What's that? What you got? I don't want to understand what you guys did. So what I can do is, again, I can put subtitles on here. Say this hat run, and not to put Gary, you don't know who Gary is, but I can put um, seminars. We had seminars. There's example one right now. I, you can see down here where it says number two, down here. That's where it says seminars. That's going to be a little too long, so I can just shorten it up, just like I do with pictures. Shorten it up when I'm going to And then we went to DRB factory, so I guess there's a that one in there. So that's DRB factory tour. And let me make that the same length as my photo. And you see this little red line that's going up and down? Yes. It'll turn blue when it's lined up. But it looks like it's perfectly lined up. And then, um, what's the next one? That was a uh, Moray. M-O-R. M-O-R. Moray, factory tour. So that will be down there. And again, if I want to move those titles up or down, make them larger, smaller, different color, different font, I should do that. And then the next one was a dinner. Dinner time. And we had raffles that we did. So I'm going to add another subtitle for that. So my family and friends, they have kind of a clue what went on. I want 50-50 if you show my dollar bills that I want. The show trip. Oh, just one. And then we had entertainment. Um, this guy was David Pennington. And he was a bad Very good. And so what's the vibe kind of thing? What's that? Yeah. I don't think it does. So do you want to, now that looks like it's a little too long for that, doesn't it? Yeah. So what I can do is I go back in there, and there's a text, T for text, and I can make it a size small. Yeah, I can change color. Let's change color. Okay. So I can do whatever you want to lower the text box? Is that possible? Lower it? Lower it? Yeah. It doesn't do that. Lower it, I can put it up at the top. Said, well, I gotta show the video that, that we had because that was that was an awesome video. So I gotta go back to my what I imported here. And let's see, I'm just gonna put all my pictures. Oh, there it is. And so I'm watching through this video. <laughs> So I go, oh, which ones did I put in? 
Well, let's see. Shape. I may as well show what the office looks like. I just put the office in here. And then let's see. But I know I got a pool picture somewhere. <coughs> There's my pool. And then we got some putt putt course. I'll put that picture in here. Because I always like to do um, reviews of the places we go. We got volleyball. Somewhere. Here's volleyball. And you know that bird picture that I took? I'm going to stick a little bird in here. So I got the bird I was able to add separately as a photo. Uh, I want to put in some pictures of the DRVs that were there. One there. I can grab more. I can grab more than one. I can just click on that, put my key, my ship key down, and grab both down at the same time. And not to confuse you, but there's a wizard button you can click, and it'll just like, put it all together for you, and you can rearrange it if you want. Well, I used to do it whatever way I like it. We added a new sign to our back of our truck, which is our bucket list in progress.com, so I'll put that on there. And then um, I thought they had a cool exit sign there at the park. I said, don't forget your spouse. And then I used to put a picture of us at the end. And so now I got this collage of photos. And I can put transitions in here again if I want to. We saw that one transition was like the drain. Um, but you know, I've got sound going through here for him singing during this that photos thing. But now I have no sound, but just photos. So you can add music. And I already downloaded some music in here. YouTube has a ton of free music that you can just take those file folders and put them out there and just put them in like it's a picture. And yeah. Yes, sir. Be sure not <coughs> to use known copyrighted music. Yeah, they'll make you so bad. Yeah, use the stuff that says you can use for free. And YouTube specifies that. So now I can look at my pictures and let's we'll see. So now at least I've got just some music to go with it. In fact, I can add some of that music on another track down here below these other photos I put in. But uh oh, it's going to run over time with him singing. There's no business like show business, but you know what? I can come right in here, come down here, turn it right off. Make it go away. So now I only have music for those pictures and music for those pictures. And oh, look, look the music's going to be way too long. That's right, I'm down here. I like what I want to cut. Cut that. So now I've got a two minute video here I just created. Um, the other thing is right in the front here is I don't have any music, I don't have any words, I don't have anything. and. Um, usually there's speakers on your computers where you can add your own verbiage to it. Mine doesn't pick up very well, but I'm going to hit this little speaker sound right here. This will come up. Welcome to Elkhart Campground. Here's the site that we stayed in. So it just created that for me. And there it is. I can save that. Put that down there. Huh. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. So let's see. I could add more transitions. I could do some other neat stuff. I could overlay pictures on set of pictures if I wanted to, but um, this is just a basic kind of neat idea. It's not that difficult, and you can learn how to do this. So like you didn't just go watching me do this, but I'm gonna produce it. <laughs> you click the produce button up at the top. And you hope this thing is gonna be too dark slow. I'm going to find out where I'm going to put this bad boy and put it down. This kind of turn it on. I'm just going to stick it right here. And I give it a name of, I did, did you see what I did not do right while I was doing all this? I didn't save it the entire time. So if I would have blown up something and, you know, I would have started all over again. So <laughs> I don't know, I'm going to put an L card. S O I T C video. If I were saving this, let me just put this part first. Um, when I was editing, there was a file save button like you see on any software program. I would go to file save and then it would look just like that and I'd tell it where I want it and I would call, call it Elk City S O I T C project. Because now, after I produce this, I can't change it. Once it's produced, it's a video, it's done. But, oh man, there's like a whole bunch of other pictures I forgot to put in here. I can go back to the project, 
and I can, I can edit the project and put more stuff up in it and give it a brand new name. Then I've got two videos. You can delete the other one if you want. Yeah. 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 So let's see. Now we've got to hit start going. Because we can go a whole lot quicker. And I get this check mark right here that says that I'm done. So now we get to watch this. Uh, let's see. Already saved us, so I can There are my videos. Save your part of the road to and let's go watch. Uh-oh. 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 Uh-
You know, you can tell the date and time you want it to be published. Uh, here's an example one. I did a uh, Carolina Landing, Fair Play, South Carolina, Thousand Trails site that I stayed at. I did a uh, little tour of it. And what you do is when once you upload it, you put a title in for it. You put a description of what the video is. And then the tags, you think, if somebody wanted to search for a video on Carolina Landing, Fair Play, what words would they type in to go look for it? Well, Carolina Landing, Fair Play. I always put Watts on wheels because I want them to come find me. Uh, Carolina Landing RV Resort, Thousand Trails, Lake Harpwell. I just, I just put anything I can think in there, somebody might type in to help make that come up when people put their search words in. And then right there it says it's going to be public, so anybody can go see it. And you can even create your own thumbnail or take a photo that you liked from the pose that you took, or taking the photo off the video, because you can do that. And you can make that your screenshot. Otherwise, they'll give you some options if you don't have your own photo that you like. They'll make some for you, and you just choose which one you want to use. So when I get all done, there it showed up. It's got um, my, my little screenshot of the Carolina Landing Flirt. It has my little description underneath it, or my title underneath it. And, um, Shows you how many views you've had, that kind of thing. So it's a little very much there. Uh, another thing then is, well, you know what? I just want to email this address to see this video to a friend of mine. If you right click on that, you go to copy video URL, it'll tell you what it is. You copy that, and then you can just put that right into your email, into messaging, into Instagram, into Facebook, wherever you want to, and then it'll show up for me. Yep, copy and paste it to your choice of communication. Any other questions? That's, that's uh, set version 17 that you use. No, I got 15. 15. Yeah, they're up to, I think, 17 now. I have one more thing I want to share with you. And that is, it's just a side note, I've gone into my storage unit and I started digging back for old pictures that I had in boxes. So I recommend that you take pictures of your old photos that you have stored away someplace. I mean, you take your camera, you lay the picture out, and you take a picture of it with your camera. That's, I'm cheap. There's, there are companies that will do this for you. You package them up, you send it to them, they send the whole thing back, plus a lovely video, and they'll do that for you. But um, I'm cheap, so I just take pictures of the pictures, and then you can show those with others as well. Um, I have a separate YouTube channel, it's called Dave and Karen Watts, but you can see I've got a few things, I started it already. The first one was um, when Dave and I met online, we were one of, one of those internet love connections, um, to our honeymoon in 2001, then I had a home that I designed and had built in 1994. I got pictures of me from when I was a kid, back to when I was born. I, had, I used to belong to a ski club. So I just went and took those pictures, laid them out, took my camera, took pictures of those pictures, Lay them out at the bottom, and that just didn't take long. Once I had them all uploaded, I just like took it all and said, put it on that storyboard at the bottom. See that I am? So I just took pictures of this one after another. And then I had to make my school pictures. Isn't that cute? Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below, even if it's just to say hi. Don't forget to subscribe.